Okay, so we receive our samples in these biohazard bottles. We prepare them in Station A. Each sample is vortexed before we move them over to the hoods where they're prepared for extraction. Now once we have a full plate of 88 samples, we load it onto our Kingfisher Flex along with some other reagents and then this uses magnetic bead extraction to extract the viral RNA. And then we're left with an elution plate which we can then prepare for PCR. So in this room we take our purified viral RNA and we combine it with a mixture of reagents. Now these act as the building blocks to allow us to detect the presence or absence of the virus when we go through to the final stage which is PCR testing. So in this stage, what we want to achieve is to convert the viral RNA into DNA so that it can be detected by our PCR machine. So the building blocks the first stage of this process and then the machine will do the rest. So the machine uses a variety of heat cycles to complete the process and then when it's done, either the presence or the absence of viral RNA will dictate whether the result is a positive or a negative and then this is then sent to our software and sent back to the patient. So the beauty of this process is that if we do detect a positive result, Track and Trace can isolate it in under 12 hours. But if the patient has a negative result, they have the peace of mind to carry on with their day.